Good morning, thirsty one. I love the words of Jesus from Matthew 5, 6. It says, blessed, fortunate, happy, and spiritually prosperous in that state in which the born-again child of God enjoys his favor and salvation are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, uprightness, and right standing with God, for they shall be completely satisfied. I know that only God can satisfy my thirst. I also know that the man or woman who wants to be filled with a zeal for God's work on this earth can only possess it if he is thirsty after God. This is what Jesus had, a great longing and a great passion to fulfill the will of God. He said in Psalm 69, 9, zeal for your house has consumed me. I believe that God wants to bring his body, the church, to a place where we are revolutionized in our lives. In order for us to go anywhere in God, a revolution must take place in our whole being, spirit, soul, and body. Such a revolution has taken place in my life since I was 17 years old. Everything is brand new. 2 Corinthians 5.17 says, Therefore, if any person is engrafted in Christ the Messiah, he is a new creation, a new creature altogether. The old previous moral and spiritual condition has passed away. Behold, the fresh and new has come. When God comes and dwells within us, we will thirst after him. As we continue to seek him through his word and prayer, our desires will begin to change. The things we used to enjoy will not be enjoyable to us anymore. We will find ourselves craving the things of the Holy Spirit instead. What pleases the Lord is when we consecrate ourselves to Him spirit, soul, and body and make Him the absolute authority over our whole beings and begin to live, think, and act in the power of the Holy Spirit. In Revelation 3.20, Jesus says to his church, Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If anyone should hear my voice and open the door, then I will come in to him and will dine with him and he with me. God wants to breathe his breath into us. He wants to eat and drink with us and live within us. We are his temple. God bless you guys. If you were encouraged today and would like to donate to our ministry, simply go on to gordonministries.org and click donate. I love you and am praying for you today.